Welcome to Spot the Imposter. We got three devs and we're going to take a challenge. We're gonna look at three different websites. Two of them are custom built and one of them is via a template, via a, a no code builder. We're gonna to try to guess which one it is. There's four rounds, no inspect element. We simply just need to look at the website. We're allowed to click around and otherwise we have to guess. All right, okay. the first one is Simply Chocolate Copenhagen. Brutal cookie banner coming up. Yeah. Oh, immediately, <laughs> immediately I know what this is built on due to the, you guys are in the States, so you didn't get this pop-up, but I got a country pop-up. I know this pop-up like the back of my hand. Wait, can I delete my cookies? Because I didn't get to see it. You've no. been here before? No. No, you, well, no you're, I clicked you're it a once. visiting website. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have clicked it, CJ. <laughs> oh, okay. Private tab, private tab. No, you're you're be you're doing development things. Well, no, I just want to oh. see the pop up that you're talking about. I mean, I I yeah. gotta control your data pop up too. I did. Yeah, I see the control your data pop up. Yeah, I can I can smell who builds this one easy. <laughs> I don't even I don't need to go any further. Okay, I mean there are there are giveaways. Okay, cool. The next site is clarityincrazy.com. First thing it asked me is is if I'm 18, which means I I have to get a parent to come click yes. You know what's nice about this site is the typography. I yeah. think that, to me, is yeah. kind of an interesting thing, especially because it's worked into the brand itself. It's actually yeah. a nice, kind of nice looking site here. The uh, the overlapping text yeah. on the images, that, that makes me think it's um, not a square space. Oh, I thought that would be custom. Um, yeah, you think so? I don't know. Copyright 2021 in the footer. So that may, leads me to believe and it's not responsive. <laughs> this feels like a custom built React Router site. I don't know if I should be helping you guys. Yeah. You shouldn't. Oh. Yeah. So let's move on to the next one, which is ceremonycoffee.com. Uh, this is a pretty basic looking site in terms of overall aesthetic. To me, this feels like something that could be a template. Now, I have a question for producer Randy. Yes. Does Shopify fall into site make uh, like the same Squarespace? That's a good, I only looked up Squarespace and Wix. Okay. okay. Maybe we okay. should, for extra points, can we guess <laughs> who built each of these? Like what the stack is? Yes. In fact, I would love to do that because I, I okay. think I have a pretty good idea on all three of these. I think I'm yeah, ready. Same. All right. Three, two, one. C. So C is the definitely C. Squarespace or Wix. C yeah. is definitely, and, and I'm going to say it's not Wix, it's Squarespace. I can smell okay. a Squarespace I can, design from I can a mile smell away. Squarespace as well. I agree. Yeah. We all got that. At least hopefully we're correct. So the way I had the stacks for all of them is that uh, number one is clearly Shopify. Um, yeah, you can from the pop up. It tells you that it's, it's ship ch changed to Canada currency, which I hate because you land on a product <laughs> and it's just like you want to go to the home page and like not the product for Canada. Um, OK, so one is Shopify. I had two as being potentially Gatsby. Uh, I think your call about the page transition makes sense, Wes. Yeah, it's probably mm -hmm. Gatsby because it's 2021 in the footer. And at that point, people who was doing page transitions, it was, oh, it was Gatsby. I just checked out the the source for these, Wes, and yeah. uh, I think we're we're in for a little bit of an interesting, interesting <laughs> twist here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Clarity and Crazy is Wix. No way. Oh, Ceremony yeah. Coffee is custom. I can smell a Squarespace design for a mile away. That feels like the least custom custom shop the thing of all is, time. Simply has a powered by Shopify banner in the footer. Simply does, yeah. So Simply is clearly, uh, it, it is definitely Shopify. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then Ceremony Coffee is custom. You're you're saying it's custom. It's custom. Yeah, it uses shop.app. Or it's also JS Shopify. JSDeliver.net. Cloudflare is loading in font awesome. But it's also Shopify, FYI. If you look in their source, there is um, all these Shopify variables. Um, Shopify oh. CDN host, Shopify theme. Subscriptions powered by recharge payments. So Ceremony Coffee, I'm looking at their source. They have some references to SimproceApps.com. Yeah. And that Which, says they power, it's Shopify, WooCommerce, Shopline, and Wix. So maybe yeah. it's like a dev shop that uses those? Yeah, I bet it's like a, it's not like a Shopify theme, but it's mm. a custom build that has Shopify integrated into it by viewing I the see. source. I'm actually shocked that this uh, CBD one is is 
Wix. I'm just going to say that specifically because the brand typography and how it works together is actually pretty impressive uh, yeah. that they were yeah. able to do that with a generic site builder. So whoever put this Wix site together, I feel like they kind of knew what they were doing. All right. Well, we all got we all got it wrong. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, first one is Doppelpress. Oh man, another uh, really pretty typographic site in terms of sick. colors, aesthetic, man. But it's also not responsive. Why yeah. are they not responsive? This makes me think that it's probably a platform that does like uh, detection based on user agent and then serves mm -hmm. up a mobile version. I'm resisting the urge to inspect element because the uh, the, the marquee in the middle, I'm really curious if they actually used a marquee or if it's like a uh, CSS animation. The marquee element is very low frame rate in Safari. Mm. It's, a, it's <laughs> an odd thing. So it's not a good idea to use marquee element, even though the tag is deprecated. It's also deprecated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Easy to make. All right. Easy see to that remake. one. All right. Next, All right, one, next one, we have drink can with two ends dot com. This All is right, interesting. Well, this, is honest, this is an e-commerce, but it doesn't feel like Shopify because it's like you can build a pack and they also have the like the full screen I mean maybe you could I, I have no idea what you can build with like Wix and stuff but this feels like Shopify to me I'm gonna mm, be honest it, yeah it does the, Shopify it loves those, like super wide designs it's very uh responsive though I'm just yeah. looking at like the um, the add to cart section and it's so like done that it's clearly some sort of platform whether that is Shopify or not um yeah yeah, this is this is Shopify. All right, next one, nifty.org. It's a uh, film festival, talented youth film festival. And this site got some fade on scroll, you know, fade on scroll, often a feature of some of these themes and templates. Nice big old uh, video banner at the top. But overall, kind of a lot of custom elements. Yeah, this feels like like a WordPress, like a really nice WordPress theme that's been totally customized. This doesn't feel like a, a Squarespace. Also, I feel like a film festival usually will have like a developer on staff mm. to build this type of thing. The copyright is out of date. So that's <laughs> something that that's is a, generally yeah. done. It's so funny that the last one, the copyright was out of date ended up being Wix. Yeah. I would have thought that would have protected us against Oh, you're right. Wix. So we got we to gotta guess which one is is on a Wix or Squarespace. Yep. Three, Three two, one. A, we all a. guessed A was, and what do we think? I think Wix. I think I Wix. Wix. I am yeah. actually, I know it's Wix. I'm very confident. Hey! hey! <laughs> um, B, I wrote as Shopify, and C, I wrote as custom, who knows? We'll, we'll look and I wrote, examine what that yeah, is. Yeah, I did WordPress, Shopify probably. and WordPress, so let's check. Yeah, same. Guys, I'm going to tell you how I know that Doppel is Wix and how I knew. If you go okay. to the very bottom in their like social post section, uh, one of these social <gasps> posts is Wix award winner, <laughs> oh, uh, no. which I, I, I saw. Read that, but and I, yeah, I subconsciously didn't even it didn't register, but I read that. Yeah, you're totally if right. You, if you'll notice by my intonation when we were on this one, I was trying to get us to move on very quickly because I yes. did not want anyone else to notice that. <laughs> All right, let's right, now, keep it moving, guys. Yeah. Now's the time to see, is this a marquee or is uh, it's I think it's a CSS animation. Well, and not even CSS, it's JavaScript. They are changing the left pixel amount every millisecond. Oh, okay. and you can you can you can see it because it's kind of it's a little bit jittery. Yeah, yeah it's jittery. You, That's you a weird be way using to do CSS that. CSS transforms for that. Take that exactly. off the yeah. main thread. Exactly. Come on, folks. Wait, um, folks. The starter, the drink can website is Next.js built with Shopify. with Shopify. Guys, I got something. Uh, nifty is Squarespace. Whoa. Oh, shoot, is it? What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Well, this isn't two truths and a lie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, we at least we guessed which one was, was Wix, so. Yeah, we got That's it right. Good. Honestly, I'm a little surprised that this nifty one is Shopify, given some of these overlays and type, you know, typo typographic elements, overlays, and general, like, kind mm -hmm. of aesthetic. Also, like, the, the sign up subscribe form is a little ugly, and, like, um, that... Ugly sign up form screams a uh, hand rolled <laughs> code to me for some reason. <laughs> yeah, that's why I thought yeah. it was WordPress because usually like devs can get in there and like really customize the templates and not, like there's so many pages. I guess, again, I'm not super familiar with like the Squarespace admin side, but it seems like they it's would definitely great. need, they, they would need a place where non technical people could add pages, update content, that kind of thing. 
So am I win? I think I'm winning. No, you aren't. We all have the same. We're all tied. We get, we get the same answers. <laughs> All right, first one is Pentagram. I have no idea what they do. Are, are they a design firm? Pentagram is a design firm, but I don't know if this oh. is the um, the website of that design firm. It could it's be. Gotta yeah, be. The, yeah, they have yeah. so many just random brands that they're posting. I'm guessing they worked on the design for, yeah. They're all frequently one of those ones that people talk about whenever anybody releases a brand update. In fact, this Moto GP one, um, this is like a new custom typeface they did and everything. I really love this Moto GP brand, so. Yeah, it's Pentagram one when you switch from page to page it kind of flashes at you yeah so it's definitely built in a javascript framework yeah it's like it's a it's, it feels like single page application but they're like changing the background color yeah yeah it doesn't um, feel pen- great and there's like a lot of like flashing i mean they have harry potter listed on there and mastercard listed on there yes oh and reddit they did reddit yeah they did the reddit new logo and stuff yes fascinating so the next one here is tjh.com. It's a, uh, looks like it's a home builder. Buy a home, build a home. And it's it's so funny looking at these sites that are so generic that you've seen a hundred times before. And yeah. then trying to yeah. pick out, you know, is this one generic enough to be an actual template? This is definitely a template. And like you can it's a tell template. that yeah. there's, there's also like stock photos on there that have been like not been replaced. Uh, and like drone footage on the homepage. So this feels like a template that you buy and then just change some of the the pieces. Yeah. What's yeah. interesting though, there isn't a login for like agents login. And I was wondering if that would take me to like some sort of Wix login or something. And it obviously doesn't. So there is some sort of like user backend or user yeah. dashboard yeah, this inside is like, of this like site. A, this is probably like a custom CMS made yes. for mm-hmm. real estate Builders. agents or home builders or something like that. Because I've done a real estate can... website and those exist. So yes. Yes. Oh yeah. All right. Last one we have here is supernaturalkitchen.com. Right away, I get a pop up for my email address. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, that, uh, this that this like full sure. page, like like side to side. It just screams Shopify. It seems like every Shopify website has that. Yeah. Instagram integration. There's some janky parallax stuff going on on this site. Are you guys getting that? The yellow uh, sections for me clip in and out, and, and they're all kind of weird when I scroll. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting that as well. I'm okay. using Firefox, Rendering. and it's perfect. That's the first time anyone's ever said that. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right, I'm locked in. Three, two, one. Yes. I'm saying B. C is Wix. Uh, I, I said I'd C say as B well. is Wix. The home builder one. You think mm-hmm. the home builder one is? I just don't yeah. know if that kind of real estate I, stuff I think that these companies are so big Wix. that they go down these verticals and they build yeah. out entire like templates, but also like like CMS functionality for home builders and real estate agents. Mm. That's what makes me think it's, it's WordPress. Yeah. The reason I think uh, Pentagram is not is because this company makes too much money to, to do it, yeah. some kind of Squarespace template. Yeah, or but also I, I do those feel companies like are somebody. so big that they, like marketing tells them, you know what, we need integration with like our like s- CRM software. Yeah. So. But that's what makes me think they use Next.js. It's probably some yeah. young kid really likes Next. Everything's, it's yeah. probably, yes. it's in the copyright's 2025, so I'm guessing they're using React server components. <laughs> <They're>, it's, <laughs> it's a hip stack uh, of it. <laughs> It's a hip right, stack, Randy, so let's, lay it let's on figure us. it out. Squarespace. Oh. <laughs> you know why? Because Shopify shops look better than that site. Um, yeah. That's why I picked it as that. And I was like, this is a storefront that does not feel as good as a Shopify storefront would. So to me, that screams like, all right, we do storefronts, but it's not our yep. main thing. Oh, so the real estate one is WordPress with yes. Elementor. So Elementor is that. huge, like like page builder plugin for WordPress. Pentagram is interesting. I'm not. They're using Imagex for their images. The view source is clean, man. There's like. I'm telling you. Yeah, this company is legit. So. Yeah. Yeah. Why isn't it minified? So, you know what we got to do? We got to look at the header of the document request because sometimes they put a. Um... A next something. I'm looking at the. the oh, they use PJAX. Get element by ID. PJAX. It's Nginx with, I think, CloudFront in front of Cloud it. CloudFront. Yeah, yeah. Use, yeah, using PJAX. Wow. 
There's a templating language. I don't think they're using. There's no way they're using Vite if they're using PJAX. I don't. I can't but imagine the the developer out there who's using that modern of a technology with that old of a technology. Wow. Yeah. This is a blast from the past, but like still super well done. Like very clean. Yeah. And yeah, super modern. Oh, well, that was a good one. All right, CJ. What we won? Trust that. Yeah, we did. We both guessed C. West did not. Yeah. All right, this first one is technam.com. Cool intro animation. Wow. Oh, yeah. This is a, a very custom, like, uh, parallax. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Like, if you, if you scroll down far enough, there's a plane that's going to come right at you into the Oh, class. yeah. Cool. There's, a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of fancy techniques here. Yeah, that's You're sick. selling airplanes. You got budget. All right. Next one is keynest.com. You're basically, it's a little lockbox for keys. So uh, there's a, the login button goes to a subdomain, which makes me think like the actual app and the marketing website are not on the on same the same, uh, same site. I was thinking the same thing. All the way at the bottom, they have a link to API docs. So it's possible that like we're looking at a landing page that like could be Wix or Squarespace, but then like everything else they do is custom. Yeah, but the, and then the, it's also, you can change your country. All right. Uh, let's move it. Last one is feedprojects.com. There's some, you know what's funny about these sites with the banners? It's like no one ever cares that the background image and the text has no contrast. It's like, how am I supposed to read yeah. this? And then you hover over it and you're like, okay, I get it. But yeah. That drives me crazy. If you go to like a website for like the best websites uh, designs and it's all, all the time, it's just a massive photo with text over top of it. Like show me some actual websites that have content on them. All right, this is, this is easy Shopify all day long there's so many weird template stuff in here where they like clearly goofed up one of the templates and didn't notice yeah 2023 in the in the footer i can't believe how many people don't update their their you footer. can't believe that i think that's like the most well, one of the most jokes that's on the, the internet. biggest joke but like yeah like we have dynamic tags i guess <laughs> i guess if you're statically generating and not not yeah, updating that, it on they the, manually went in there and typed it they didn't they weren't able to write a custom script yeah. Mm, mm. This one's actually kind of tough for me. I, I don't know on this one, really. I don't know either. Yeah. I just like to like cement. I, I've been cementing my ideas and then getting them wrong every single time. Can I can I give you one more of my predictions? Yeah. The yeah. first one is so polished that I feel like it's a a WordPress theme. Mm. Oh. My, the thing you that was weird for airplanes? me is the logo on top of that. Like yeah. the logo feels like it was just slapped on that banner. Yeah, of yeah, it doesn't. That. The overlap is is not as much, and I think so. I think there's probably enough people who sell, and I bet the person who made this theme made a version for boats mm. and for airplanes <laughs> and for uh, exotic cars, and like a get. We should find out if it's a theme. We'll find yeah. out what the theme is called and how much it costs. Okay. okay, cool. Well, let's lock them in, guys. I, I, you know, I didn't, I, I'm going for the win here. So who knows? Right. We'll see. I'm saying B is, C. I'm going to say it's, it's I said Squarespace. C as well. For the same reasons as the last one, I thought it was a, a crappy version of an e-commerce. The common theme here is Wix and Squarespace has, has, an out, has had an out of date copyright for every single one. You're <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, may, is that, is that a giveaway? I don't know. All right. Lay it on us, Randall. Oh, okay. Uh, I was right. I was right. Yeah. Let's got it. All right. Let's go to this plain one. I'm so curious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's, it's definitely WordPress. Yeah, WordPress. it's WordPress. It's Man. called Digital Silk, the theme. Man, you really nailed that call. <laughs> that was uh, really impressive that you nailed that call. Here we go. If you go to digital silk forward slash style dot CSS, it says theme name, digital silk. Yeah. Author, yeah. So it's custom theme for digital silk projects. So yep. this is like they their take starter, like a, like a base theme and they've built on. So I would I would say it's custom. Yeah. The last one is Shopify. Uh, I, I'm surprised because there's a lot of weird little things, a lot of quirks in it that I don't associate with Shopify themes. But it is uh, Shopify. So Wes, you really so I got all three correct. Round. All right, folks, looks like it ends in a tie, which isn't that much fun. But we all got two points. Uh, we all Audience discovered some uh, amazing things. <laughs> we all had some follies. Audience will decide. So please, please decide 
that I won. That would be great. Uh, so let us know how you did. Did you Were you able to guess? Did you check out the links? What did you think? So if you want to watch us compete in web dev trivia, click on this video over here. And you know what? If we get our channel to 500,000 subscribers, all three of us are going to use NeoVim. We're going to use NeoVim for a whole month. Go ahead and just smash that subscribe button.